I first got to know Mark Jarvis, I took a look at the metallurgy and I realized, hey, this project could actually make a really high quality material, a 18% nickel concentrate. And as you know, being in the nickel industry, that's that's at the high end of the scale. You don't see that really commercially. You see 10, 12, 15, and I mean, you see as low as eight. But I thought 18% nickel concentrate, that's a great product. And I started to look into it more by talking to Mark. And I realized, you know what? This project has all of the aspects of a project that you would want. You've got the uh, engagement of the local people there, the Taltan and the Casca that are that are living there on the land. You've got the engagement of um, the government who wants to have a green economy. And when you look at Turnigan being a sulfide mine, it's not very energy intensive. And there's the possibility to get power from the hydroelectric grid in, in BC. So now you're not burning fossil fuels for your electricity. And as the world progresses, you're going to get an electrified mining fleet. So you're going to have a very low greenhouse gas footprint. And I think, as you've seen the data, there's a strong possibility it's actually going to be a carbon neutral mine. The test work that we just announced at Giga, it's pretty exciting work. Um, obviously, there's a long way to go, but you're thinking that this could really be a, a carbon neutral mine in the future? Absolutely. And, and I, I do agree that, you know, we are only starting to scratch the surface of the test work that we need to do. But the preliminary test results demonstrate an absorption rate uh, coupled with the design of the tailings management facility that should sequester enough carbon dioxide to offset the CO2 emissions that are expected if we have an electrified fleet and if we have power from the hydroelectric grid, you know, that's scope one and scope two. So lots of people are talking about carbon neutrality. And, and I hope that a lot of other mines achieve this because that's, that's good for mining and it's good for the world. But I think we're at the forefront right now. We don't have to buy credits. And I think we actually have an empirical uh, quantitative data set that we can prove to investors that we actually do have the ability to get there. The strategics want to see a low carbon footprint because it helps them as they go down the value chain, have a low carbon footprint product. But they want to see other things too. Num number two, they want safety. They don't want to have to wake up in the morning and open up the front page of a, of a newspaper or look at social media and, and see that there's been an environmental catastrophic disaster or breach that they now have to atone for. And I think with the CO2 sequestration that we're expecting at Turnigan, the, the, a secondary benefit is the cementation of the material, which turns it into a very stable material. So, so the risk is minimized of, of some sort of breach, even in a slight seismic event. I think number three is engagement with the local indigenous personnel. And as I said, you know, we've been engaged with the Taltan and the Casca. We're having a good conversation with them by starting the discussion early, having them on board early so there's no surprises. I'm very confident that they'll be extremely supportive of the project when it comes to permitting. So as a strategic, you're going to look at that. You know, it, it's going to be some really interesting discussions ahead with the strategics, I think, as we move into an era where we're looking at market deficits coming in the future. And especially with all the discussions now about strategic sourcing for governments, for the EU, for the US, they're very, very concerned about having the security of supply. Not just is it the right nickel, but can they even get it? And that's really, really important to them. And I think Canada is a perfect partner for these other uh, large consuming areas that want that security. Yeah, I agree. And I think we talk about Europe. Europe has really gone and invested a lot of time and money into looking at secure supply, but that Europe is also introducing uh, you know, rules, regulations, and potential taxation on carbon. And I think as, as that works its way through, which may take years or even decades, um, carbon is going to come at a price. And we're seeing that, you know, carbon does come at a price. And as more and more governments uh, commit to decarbonizing, uh, you're going to see low carbon projects in jurisdictions that are, shall we say, tier one jurisdictions such as Canada. Um, there might be a premium attached to that. I don't know. Ultimately, the market will decide. <clears throat> and as, as you said, there's going to be lots of projects that are required to meet the demand, hopefully. But I'm quite optimistic that with Europe's lead, uh, mines that have responsible sourcing and low carbon footprints will probably get a second look. And I'm hoping it'll attract the right kind of investor that say, you know what? It's an expensive project, but so is a project potentially in Southeast Asia or South America. But, you know, my technical risk is extremely low because this is technology that's been around for 100 years. 
and my ESG risk is very low, mm -hmm. and my security of supply now is very high. And also because my technical risk is very low, I'm pretty confident that my operating cost, the cost of my product, is going to be fairly stable over the years. We're obviously going to get some uh, swings in labor costs, but you've got electricity from hydroelectric, which is fairly stable. You can negotiate long rates. So I'm not going to be uh, a slave to the to the fossil fuel industry and swings in potentially oil price. Anyway, so I, I think it is going to be more and more important. And I'm hoping that the right type of investor starts becoming more interested in a project like Turnigan and say to, say to their company or their investment advisor, I want to get involved in that because I think that's the future. Thank you.